C.J. Dennis, one of Australia's greatest poets, created the beautiful singing gardens in Tulangi, Victoria. His most famous work, The Sentimental Bloke, made him a household name throughout Australia. His success enabled him to buy the land at Tulangi and with his wife Biddy to plant the singing gardens he also called Arden. The C.J. Dennis Society, created in 2013, has held yearly festivals at the singing gardens at Tulangi except in 2019. Then COVID restrictions severely affected public attendance at the 2020 festival. In 2021, the Society worked hard to set up a Zoom conference thanks to the sponsorship of the English Speaking Union in Melbourne. ESU is very content to support the efforts of Den's modern fans, the organisers of this event and all the friends of CJ Dennis in recognising this unique Australian and promoting his works as widely as possible among the Australian community. It was a great success with Zoom technology allowing people of all ages and backgrounds to participate live. The conference lasted several hours and this video shows just a few edited highlights. He's part of our tradition, the swagman and his pack, a solitary figure beside some dusty track a long way from the cities the suburbs and the towns, a wandering bush hermit in someone's hand-me-downs. I'll probably read it off the screen if that's all right. That's fine, yes. I'm just in the car, so if I look weird, it's because I am weird. I'm in the car. That's, that's okay. Um, so this, is, this is modern communication. It is. I've got everything balanced on a knee and a gear stick, so I'll just bring up the screen. Okay. Choosing socks. When choosing socks to wear each day, I need to think it through. Which colour, pattern, fit or feel is right for foot and shoe? Should I wear my ankle socks or ones that reach my knees? Should I wear the stripy ones or those adorned with bees? Retirement? That's a joke, he said. Someday, when I get old, I'll think of it. Till then, I've got it made. I have to keep my hand in, stay in practice, not lose touch. The secret to longevity, I think, is standing up a lot, because that's what I do so much. And up till now, it's kept me in the pink. It costs just $7 for a haircut tw quite as fine as any that attracted twice the cost. You never know this little shop so ancient in design, was home to such tradition, all but lost. So this one is inspired by the bushfires in Australia and the Indigenous Australian technique of using hazard reduction burns, which reduce the chances of bushfires. Um, feed the fire, but don't give it too much. Otherwise, it might just warm up to your touch. Fuel the flames, but don't let them bite. You might just get pulled into a fight. Spark the embers, but don't let them burn too bright. You might just get lost in the light, never again to see the night. Third prize to Solitide by Noah Tasker. Tied down, locked down, stuck in the hole. Can't go in, can't go out, where can you go? Constant replays, songs, sports, shows. Waiting, wishing, wanting. Wistfully warbling whenever. Rewatching reruns on the telly that we've seen already, once, twice, three times shown. Just watched that, seen that before. The government said it was for the best, and who are we to attest? Get the now, my father was a farmer, as his father was before, just sowing things and growing things in the far off days of yore, in the far off land of England, till my father found his feet in the new land, in the true land, where he took to growing wheat. Wheat, wheat, wheat. Oh, the sound of it is sweet. I've been praising it and raising it in rain and wind and heat since the time I learnt to toddle till it's beaten in my noddle is a little song I'm singing you of wait, wait, wait. The editor, what a literary expert the editor must be. There is so much more to English than dotting I's and crossing T's. I couldn't be an editor, they know more than just big words. They can properly organise them, adjectives, nouns and verbs. Well, uh, every sentence must be carefully checked. Has it a verb and subject? Or is it just a fragment of the writer's sentiment? 
the magpie sits and listens. His feathered head is still. Something seems to worry him. He waits and waits until a threat, a bike, is, a bike comes zooming. It's moving very fast. A flap, a swoosh, a swoop, aha, she's riding off at last. The magpie's running back and forth. He's pecking at the ground. His magpie chick is pleading for the bugs that he has found. My sisters were so horrified at his ugly Aussie look. Wow, this is more realistic than looking in a book. His features were quite quiescent, but even were to dab. His back left foot was missing, which must have felt quite bad. Perhaps he lost it in a fight, said dad with a closer look. And then he joked, how might he taste if we gave him a cook? Strangers begin to land ashore. Creatures watched them nervous. They scared nature to the core. They weren't giving service. Tents appeared out of nowhere. Fish died in their homes. The forest went through wear and tear, trees talking in hushed tones. Big buildings began to spew smoke. The sky turned blue to grey. Wildlife scurried away from homes. They are here to stay. Once a warm, sunny paradise turned into a wasteland. Now we have to pay the price. We all have to lend a hand. If we leave this land to its doom, we will pay somehow. We can't be greedy. There is room. We will fix. That's a vow. It really happened. My sister had found a stray cat. Um, so it's just a little funny poem about this stray cat. And it's called Elvie the Stray Cat. She called her Elvie and loved her so, a fat little stray with a bright pink bow. Then my sister said she had to go to Sydney on tripping and need you so. I said I'd care for the cat, you know, with bulging belly and face aglow, which seemed each day to grow, grow, grow. Then with sister gone, the cat was mine, mine, mine. I called to Elvie, it's almost nine. I have your favourite, mince with brine. But this was odd, it wasn't fine. That timely kitty loved to dine. But on this day, there was no sign of the puss that was mine, mine, mine. The Zoom was so successful that when the 2022 festival returns to the singing gardens, it will be Zoomed again with even better technical equipment. This technology is a wonderful way for far more Australians, even those overseas, to enjoy the festival live or recorded. There is nothing more Australian than the C.J. Dennis Festival. We hope that as you watch this YouTube video, you'll agree it is well worth supporting. The humour and the liveliness and the engagement with poetry that rhymes and has metre are all wonderful to behold and it really marks a fantastic legacy that the society and the singing gardens are providing for uh, cj dennis and his work and his memories and you're definitely keeping his name and the memories alive